Okay, so I'm still making progress, but as the day unfolds, you know, plants change, things happen, and I flex with those. Um, I'm starting to realize as it's almost 3 o'clock that I probably won't get much, if any, listing done today uh, as I continue to work on the garage, but I just grabbed my leaf blower a minute ago, and there were so many leaves in here, and there still is, but I have stuff piled on top of leaves because the wind tends to blow in from the open garage. But um, So what I'm doing here is now that I've gotten a new photo set up, uh, I'm starting to try to consider how am I going to organize all this stuff. Well, one easy way to do it is to get things listed so I can get it out of this place. And so that's what I've decided I was going to do. Instead of working on this blown glass investment project, which we'll come back to in another video, or this whole stack of monumental project, and then there's one other investment project that I have, which is in these two little totes here. Um... Instead of working on those, and that's really what I'm excited to do, I think I'm going to work on this table full of random things that I need to get going and somewhat of a death pile. This old rainbow needs to be clean, tested and cleaned up. Um, so I think I'm going to work more on the garage itself, but I, I'm ready to get this stuff like kind of out of the way so I can put it on the shelf back there and it's listed and it's done. And that way I can, you know, focus on some of the bigger projects without getting too many death pile little tiny things or not, not tiny, this whole rainbow. But you know what I mean, little things backing me up or, or put on the back shelf because that just starts to eat away at me after a while. So, taking another break here, but uh, that's my update and I will, uh, I'll be back. Hang on. So, I've kind of gotten my place to a point where I'm like, oh, crap, I don't know what to do next. But, very exciting. I just got opted in for eBay's, what do you call it? <laughs> oh, Lord, my brain stopped working. Manage payments. I'm finally getting opted in for the manage payments. I just got a notification on my phone. So... I was like, well, that's perfect timing. I'm excited about that, and I can tell you more about it because there's issues in my PayPal account. Uh, but I'm excited about that. So I'm going to go inside and uh, sit down and get signed up and all of that good stuff. So, woohoo! Manage payments, baby! Well, quick update on my grass here. We've been getting down below freezing, so I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. But there's where my grass growing has gotten to. So enough of that. We'll move on. Let's talk about the uh, sold list, sold items I had uh, since last week's video. And I think I've got 12. So the first one is this men's Adidas t-shirt. Sold that for $16.50 with free shipping. And that was one I, oops, I messed up on. I should have not gone that low. The lowest I was going to go on those with free shipping was $17.50. But anyway, I paid about $7 or $8 uh, for it. Retail arbitrage. And there you go. That one probably made about $5 profit. This next one is a deal I negotiated on. This is not a Capolo t-shirt. And that was $15.75 plus shipping. That one was uh, purchased, ooh, I need to update the chart. We'll do that next. But anyway, that one was purchased, uh, retail arbitrage obviously, and uh, it was about, I think it was $7. So um, with that one, we're at about six, $7 profit max. And this next one was a Pyrex bowl I picked up, and I paid about maybe $2 for that. Um, it was bought in a lot, so I'm just kind of guesstimating, but it was sold for $9.99 plus shipping, so made $6 on that one probably. And this one I was excited to sell. This is a uh, Mandalorian Yoda uh, beach towel, and crazy enough, you know, 
middle of December, you sell a beach towel, but hey, I'll take it. Anyway, I got those retail arbitrage at Walmart, and I've got several of them left, but I picked up all they had at five bucks a piece. And so, you know, with everything on that, we're looking at about five bucks profit, maybe six. And here's another one I was excited to sell. These uh, gardening gloves, goat skin, leather. And I picked those up retail arbitrage. And I paid two dollars for those, maybe three dollars. Either way, we're looking at about a five dollar profit. Next, we got this uh, men's Nike t-shirt, the Just Do It. Uh, that was sold correctly because it has free shipping. I took a uh, uh, or negotiated an offer for seventeen dollars and fifty cents. And here we have uh, a bunch of highlighters. And I took a lowball offer on these, but I'm still making mad profit on it. This guy bought three of those, which is a total of uh, eight times three is 24. 24 packs, and I paid 25 cents for per pack. So we're looking at a four dollar investment and sold it for 27 so about a $20 profit on those. Uh, the reason I went way low on those is those highlighters, they'll dry up over time. So if I can move them, I'm gonna take offers on them. Plus 20 bucks, you know, hey, I'll take that any day. Uh, but that one also was plus shipping, so I didn't lose anything on the shipping side. And then here are these little uh, Lego kingdoms, Lego horses and uh, carriages and whatever else is in there. That sold for $9.99. Uh, I picked that up at a lot. I might have at the max two bucks into it, so about a five dollar profit. And here uh, we have these sheets that came from a recent video where I was talking about. I went to a uh, uh, an estate sale, and it was not a in, ran by an estate sale company. And I paid five dollars for those sheets. Sold them for sixty nine ninety nine plus shipping. So we're probably looking at around sixty dollar profit on that. And this one was a fun one. It was all of these vintage locks, and I picked these up from my mom's house. Uh, my arm's getting tired. Let me switch hands. And I got these at my mom's house. We were cleaning them out. My dad had picked them up over the years and collected them. And uh, I put those on a seven-day auction. I didn't. Uh, it was exciting because I didn't really do any research to see what they were worth. Um, I knew they'd sell for something. Uh, but I was surprised and uh, excited. They did not have any keys, so I was surprised and excited to see them sell for $36.55 plus shipping. So that one's total profit minus eBay fees, so we're looking at probably $34, $33-$34 profit. And here, this one was one that I picked up at a garage sale, and I went, you know, kind of skies for the limit on this one, skies the limit. And I listed it, buy it now, $175. It's this Mary Kay, a lot of 43 items. And there were a handful, maybe three or four items in there that actually had expiration dates on them and had expired. So I had two watchers on that, and I hadn't sold a whole lot, you know. So um, I said, let me just uh, throw out some offers. So I throw out something really enticing. I threw out $125. And I had a lady counter at $100, and I hem-hauled on should I take it, should I try to get another $5, $10 out of it. And I said, you know what, just to move that stuff, I'm going to sell it. So I sold it for $100, uh, and we are $35 into that. So minus eBay fees and things like that, we're looking at about uh, $55 to $60 profit on those. And this was a fun one to sell. I picked this up at a garage store. Say what? Garage store, garage store, garage store for a dollar. Uh, vintage pink igloo, little playmate. And it did have some wear and tear on it, especially on the blue graphics uh, printed on the side. But I had put close-ups of that in the uh, listing showing people, you know, that it had its wear. And uh, sold that for $19.99 plus shipping. And went out to California, so the poor uh, buyer paid $17.35 shipping on that. But anyway, uh, you know, at me being invested in it for a dollar, uh, looking at about $16 profit. So fun to sell that one. And here, the next, this next one, in a recent video, I had talked about buying a, a KitchenAid food processor at Goodwill, and then I forgot to test it before the week had passed on whether or not I could return it to Goodwill. And lo and behold, it did not work. I could not return it. So, 
you know, when in doubt, part it out. You may have heard that from uh, Kevin over at Commonwealth Flipper and Commonwealth Picker. But I grabbed all of this stuff you see here. It's all the bowls and the mixing blades and all that good stuff. And I threw a lowball um, listing out there for $34.99 plus shipping. A lot of people would charge it. We're splitting it up in, in little pieces that go to it. We're selling for quite a bit more. I could have possibly gotten $50 or $60 out of that lot. But I was like, let me move it, let me get my money back because I had paid $20 for the whole unit. So at the end of the day, I'm maybe in seven or eight dollars profit on that, but happy to see that one go. So there's all the sales, guys. Stay tuned for what's next. Now, as I'm just finishing up the sales and walking away, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't remember listing anything. I very well could have, but. Uh, I'm just going to cut it there. I'm not going to say, I don't, I don't think I've got anything to show you for recent listings. And that's another thing. I think eBay's algorithms uh, notice that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of resellers, you'll hear them say, if you want things to move in your store, list more items. Well, there's more than one reason for that. But I think that could be one of those reasons. Because when you're listing in your store, no matter what it is, it seems like to me that more of my items are selling even the things that I'm not listing and again I think it's algorithm algorithms in eBay and how they promote your listing where they put it at you know when people search and things like that so just keep that in mind as long as you're listing you'll continue selling like you know what since I'm not making any decisions on where to move forward on the garage I'm gonna go ahead and list some stuff so this is a Beavis and Butthead stocking gag gift, obviously, or funny because it's just a white tube sock, and it's got stains on it. I bought this back in 1993 and found it in my mom's attic, or in my mom's uh, building that we were cleaning out, and uh, I was like, yeah, I don't really care for that. Don't, you know, don't have a, 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 an attachment to it, so just listed that for $9.99. And disclose that it is brand new with tags, but stained all to pieces. <laughs> so let's see what I'll list next. The next item. That is a, like a lapel pin or a lot of collectible pins people put on jackets and whatnot. Um, but that's a Grateful Dead and it's called Steal Your Face, that particular, that particular picture. And I put the penny out there. Um just to show the size ratio and the listings. Anyway, I picked this up at a uh, garage sale. It was in a box of free stuff. And I know there's a ton of Grateful Dead collectors out there. So I uh, just listed that for $4.99 plus shipping. <laughs> Say bye. bye. <laughs> just getting some dramatic updates. Drama from uh, the wife. Nothing big. Nothing funny. But anyway, oh, I forgot to turn them back over. All right, here's my next little listing. These are also things that I found in my uh, uh, mom's building. And I think these may have been mine. I don't remember, honestly, but they're from 1985 Vintage Trolls. And um, eBay suggested that I start them off at a $9.99 auction. And then I turned that off and it went to like a $25 buy it now suggestion. And I was like, you know what? I don't care about these things. I'd love to get 25 bucks out of them. I really don't think there's any way that I will. But I said, let's have some fun with this one. So that one's on a seven-day auction. Opening bid uh, is 99 cents. And yeah, we'll see how that one goes. I love watching the auctions. They're fun. Adrenaline. Here's what I'm talking about. Can you guys see that little piece of junk there? Zoop. Before, I would have struggled with that a lot. Anyway, here's the last item I listed. I forgot to get it pictured before I uh, uh, moved on to all these DVDs that are next. But anyway, uh, those are a genuine Apple OEM earbuds. They are wired, and I listed those. I got those free. Actually, they came with an iPad that we bought, um, but... We're not going to use them, and so uh, kind of consider them free. And just listed those for nine ninety nine plus. All right, here's my next one. It's these twelve DVDs. You saw them spread out a minute ago, but there's Batman, Transformers, Deadpool, GI Joe, Hulk, Daredevil, X Men times two, Fantastic Four times two, 
Iron Man times two. So these were uh, free from a friend of ours who was moving and did not want them anymore. And they gave me a whole ton of DVDs, so I'm busting them up into lots. And I just listed those, and I may be stretching it here, or I may be giving a good deal, because I don't know. I didn't do any research on it, but I thought with this specific uh, grouping of superhero DVDs, maybe they would sell better than others. And so I listed those at Buy It Now for $24.99 plus media mail shipping. Next is this little KitchenAid kettle. This thing I picked up at that uh, estate sale that I was mentioning earlier was not ran by an estate company. And um, they were asking five. I offered two. We settled at three. Um, these are selling regularly for $69.99 new ones for $69.99 free shipping. So this one, I've been scrubbing the heck out of this thing, so I'm tired of scrubbing it. And it's got some stuff on there that it just really needs elbow grease that I'm not going to put into it. But with that said, I'm going to disclose that in the auction and uh, list it used um, with shipping on top for $44.99. I expect it will go off the shelves pretty quick. All right, so I don't do it that often. And it's been a long time. I feel weird, but I'm back in the Facebook marketplace world. And I forgot to take a video of this before I put it away. But it's this fountain here. I want to turn the camera sideways, so watch your dizziness. It's that outdoor fountain. It's just a Walmart brand. Mainstays. I looked them up. I couldn't find. I didn't do a lot of research, but I couldn't find any comps on it. So I threw it on Facebook marketplace for 35 bucks. You know, I almost put indoor outdoor fountain, hoping that would help it sell. And then I realized on the box it says outdoor, or it doesn't say outdoor only, but it says outdoor fountain. So anyway, I left it at that. And who knows? Maybe somebody on Facebook Marketplace will uh, will hit me up on that. But many many moons ago, I created a video about when I was uh, redoing some, adding some shelving in the garage. And I wanted to show you guys this. I trimmed these corners off just because I didn't want to accidentally bump into them. Or, you know, God forbid, have one of my children bump into them. And then I put this thing out here just to give me an extension to have something to set my light on. Because I had sold a huge box, a piano keyboard, that I used to have up on its end. And I would set my light on top of that. Well, I knew this was going to happen. And it wasn't five, three minutes ago or whatever. But I was walking by and I said, bam. And I just tagged my arm right on that corner. So, ow. Anyway, uh, tomorrow that corner will be cut. Or I'll figure out something else on the lighting. But I'm going to list one more thing and then I'm going to call it. This video is probably going to be pretty long anyway. Uh, but... Hang tight. One more listening. I wish I would have realized these have Blu-rays and DVDs in them. Two of these two do. If I would have known that, I would have just thrown these in the other DVD lot. But anyway, so we've got Thor, The Dark World, Captain America, The First Avenger, and Marvel's Avengers. So I'm going to throw those on eBay. I don't know. I think I'm going to do them for $5.99 uh, plus shipping. And because I have a whole good stack of Blu-rays, but unfortunately that was the only, that's the only three um, superheroes. So we'll get that listed and I think I will list some more. So y'all hang tight. All right, next I'm just going to take this lot of DVDs and I'm just going to put them in an auction starting at 99 cents for seven days. There's a couple decent titles in here. Uh, the second Harry Potter, and then a Twilight, Breaking Dawn. Uh, but it's just so random. Like, I couldn't even really group those together by genre if I wanted to. And I don't feel like I have enough uh, quantity to do anything with them, like, on, uh, on Marketplace. So I'm going to list these uh, at an auction and just let it run. Let's see what happens. But now, when we come over here, 
this is the box of those other ones and I'm gonna pull out some of these and see if any of these box sets like this Rome box set or some of these other ones that they have multiple ones of like Outlander seasons and see if those are worth listing independently on eBay but the bulk of these I'll throw on uh, marketplace here pretty soon uh, and I'll let you know on that after I get them listed but here's where we're at we're gonna auction these guys off and Seven days later, we'll find out if we get a, even a dollar offered for them. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Um, those last three or four auctions I did, I was just trying to get through it. Didn't um, post anything, video on that. But uh, they were all small DVD lots, box sets typically, or seasons of various things. I'll throw the, I think it's three. I'll throw those up right here. And they're all like $9.99 or $6.99 or something like that plus shipping. So uh, it started drizzling outside. So a little backwards progress, which I didn't really need to leave all these boxes outside anyway. But uh, brought all those back in, my broken down boxes and all that good stuff. But, you know, I'm fairly pleased with the, um, with the progress that I made today. Uh, wasn't earth shattering, but we had some errands to run as a family, so we were out for about an hour, and you know I'd take a break and do this, that, or the other. But all in all, it was a good day. Got a lot of uh, things reorganized in the garage, and I've still got a lot of stuff to figure out. Where am I going to put this stuff? I think I know what I'm going to do with some of these totes up here. I just realized that. And maybe I'll touch base with you on that tomorrow. Um, but, you know, it was a good day. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you come back to see us again. And I will talk to you soon. Hey, one last thing. My buddy John, he said, man, where's your videos at? I'm a YouTuber. And I need to see a video. I need to watch. I need something to watch on my lunch break. So, Mr. John, I love you, brother. This one's for you.